Hello everyone and welcome to the 29th Sunday in the Ordinary Season of the Church Year. Today is Gospel. James and John want to be the popular ones. They're looking for affirmation. They're looking for better position. They want to be known as the top apostles. Forget about Simon Peter. Jesus tells them that if they want to be great, they have to be the servant. They become great by taking care of the needs of others, not by focusing on themselves. The lesson for us in today's gospel is if we want to feel good about ourselves and love ourselves, that will be much easier if we dedicate ourselves to the service of others. Serving others is an important part of our Christian life. I'd like to announce that coming at the uh, towards the end of this month on Saturday, November 26th, will be another children's mass at the 4:30 p.m. Saturday mass. So I encourage all of your parents to bring your children to that 4:30 p.m. mass on Saturday, October 26th. And following that children's mass, there will be the trunk or treat celebration uh, for the kids in the parking lot. I'd like to announce, too, that I am going to be leading a pilgrimage during the Holy Year of 2025. As you know, the Holy Father has a Holy Year every 25 years, and they open the Holy Doors of the four major basilicas in Rome, and you get special indulgences by passing through these Holy Doors during a Holy Year. So I'll be leading a pilgrimage then to Rome in 2025 in May, and we'll be going to these important cities of Milan, Padova, Venice, Florence, Assisi, and four days in Rome, stopping at very important pilgrimage sites for Christians since the early centuries. So I invite all of you to come with me on this pilgrimage, not just to, to sightsee or to tour, but really to transform your life and to strengthen your faith during this holy year. It's an opportunity for a real drawing closer to Christ in these special places as we offer Mass in these various locations. The cost of the trip is about $5,500, but that includes round-trip airfare, all first-class hotels, local transportation, breakfast and dinner every day, and of course daily Mass. If you have more questions or would like to know more, uh, me and Andrew Conklin, who is going to be the director of this pilgrimage with me, will be available at the back of the church to answer any questions this weekend. So look for us there with this friar and brochure. And now please stand for the pro-life prayer. <laughs> 